Hello again, this is Elaine and welcome to my channel. I talk about all things ACA. I'm not affiliated officially with adultchildren.org. Um, I just went through this program and it spoke to me and I thought part of part of the steps is to take this out. You've learned something and then to take it and share it with others and that's what I want to do. Um, I'm not a, a sponsor in any sort of way, but I know that people don't all always find meetings. So some of the purpose of doing this, it started in 2020 when people were not meeting. So I felt people needed a place to go. So I've been working on my channel through the steps, through steps one through four. I stopped somewhere in the middle of four. I just stopped and I have since gotten the subscribers. I only had you know a handful and people want me to continue and I just thought okay <laughs> you know I'll continue. Today I wanted to talk about something that comes up in um, recovery and that is discovering your true self. Um, and I think that's an interesting concept. I was talking to somebody about this just yesterday. What the heck is that? Like I know it's just like this classic thing, like, who am I? Who am I? <laughs> and we're on this search to understand. And uh, we get it confused with labels. We get it confused with, like, like me. I'm a mother. I'm a, I was a teacher. I'm a retired person. I um, I'm a sister. I was a team leader. I was a department chair. You know, I had all these labels. And if... Um, oh, for a while I was this political party or I was um, this religion for a time. So if I were to write all those labels down and then, well, let's just not even say that. Let's say write down who I was 10 years ago. I would have written those labels down. Those labels would have been all who I was. But that's not really like our true self. Those are labels. Those are actually nothing wrong with them. And nothing wrong with anything that we identify with. If we want to identify, it's a free country. We can identify with a religion. We can identify with a political um, party if we want or no party. We can be uh, We can be a member of a particular profession uh, and have a name or have a name that it designates who we are within a family structure. That's all very normal and in a sense it's part of who we are, but it's not our true authentic self. So if you had done that, or if I had done that 10 years ago and I had listed all these things and then someone said, now take out all the things that are, um, they're just labels, you know, they're not necessarily your true self. That's what you, oh, also, let, here's another thing. Um, I like this because I've talked about this before with others. Is it like what music you like or what art you like? Um, it can be the things you like and you don't like. I think all that is comes into play, but it's not really, it's kind of surface level. It, what you want is your true self, something deeper. That's, this is not for surface level changes, you know. This is not like going to the hair salon and getting your hair cut or getting a facial or um, just joining a club or something. It's actually a process. It's dynamic. Your true self, who you really are, is dynamic. So if, if you can do that, if you can define yourself without these external things, even though they, they make, we're part of that. Yeah, those are those labels are part of us. But the true self is actually what we have left over when we've done this work of the 12 steps. Now, what, what are we doing with the 12 steps? Well, we're identifying things that have been dysfunctional and they don't work for us. Like if we identify with the 14 traits and we identify with all of those, actually most of those keep us from being our true self, believe it or not. So if we described ourselves as those traits, it still doesn't mean we don't have a true self. It just means that those traits get in the way 
of our true self. So what we do with the with identifying with those 14 characteristics is we say, okay, the process of identifying those and then trying to make an effort to change the way we live this and not be dysfunctional, that's part of trying uh, finding our true self. Our true self is also um, what, like how we let other people treat us and deciding that we won't let other people treat us in ways that doesn't honor us. And we, we don't have to do that in a mean way and in a way to cause a lot of conflict, but we just honor ourselves enough to discern this is good for me, this is not good for me. This person is uh, difficult for me to be around because maybe they engage in habits that aren't good for me. Um, they make me feel less about myself. And actually, the nice thing about the program is eventually it doesn't matter what people say about us. We, we know who we are and we stand in that. So that's really an exciting part. And that's when you start to think, yeah, I'm getting at it. This is my true self. So if I could compare it with, um, in a metaphor, and this has been used many times, but I think it's a really great metaphor. When somebody finds gold or silver, when they're mining, they don't just find a nugget with gold, uh, you know, pure. I mean, I guess it's possible, but usually it has what's called dross on it. It has the dull material stuck to it, adhering to the precious metal. And the way that you deal with purifying that metal is through fire, through heat. When you're going through the program, that's what you have to do. You're kind of heating stuff up. You're bringing up some things in your past and you realize like as a child, you learned dysfunctional behaviors. You learned, you self-sabotaged. You, um, you became codependent. You let others walk on you, all over you. Uh, you did certain things and the program kind of says, ah, do you see that now? Do you see what you were doing? Do you see how you'd be happier if you didn't do it quite that way or if you understood that that was happening when it did happen? Um, and so that's the work that we do to find our true self. We're actually like purifying out the true self from the labels, from the um, behaviors, from dysfunctional behaviors. Uh, and it, it also helps us like in our search for truth, truth in the objective world, truth in ourselves. Um, the more we investigate and understand what we believe in, what we care about, we don't have to follow a crowd that tells us what to think. This is a big deal with me. I, um, I've had lots of manifestations of, you know, things in my life, what I, you know, my causes and things. And, and those do have to do with me and they do define my character and what, what I believe in, what I think is important. But also then in the process, sometimes I still engage in the behaviors through those things, you know, and that's not my true authentic self. And sometimes like it's great to identify with a group. But we also have to understand that sometimes a group will lead us down the primrose path and, and sometimes to our own detriment because we haven't looked into it. We haven't discovered if it honors us. Um, faith is great, but also there's a certain amount of discernment that we have to have. Loyalty is great, but there's also a certain amount of investigation to see if it's right to be loyal to this idea or these people. So um, our true self is not really one thing. It's not a static thing. It's not so you'll wake up one morning and you'll discover your true self and then you're done. Uh, I don't think you get done like with this program. I don't think you get done finding your true self. Um, one of the parts of trying to finding your true self is self-love. So self-love is this radical thing that you do that, because a lot of us come in with bad self-esteem and and like hearing the voices of people in the past with their, their criticisms and the, the labels that stuck that we believed we were because we got that programming. Um, 
what we have to do is decide if that thing is like wrong or is not helping us, it is to reject that, that thing. Or if there's something that like maybe resonates with us, that is, we, we want to be part of it, or we, we want to adopt those ideals. If they honor us and honor others too, because we have to live in a world with other people. We have to be good people in the world. Um, not codependent, you know, but, but honest with ourselves. So our true self, it's not phony. It investigates, it, it discerns, it understands. And so it's a dynamic process because we're always going to be confronted with um, our own self-sabotage or sabotage from others that maybe they don't even mean like they're maybe they're just needy or something but we have to understand and discern and that's the process so in the end you know we're looking for the nice refined beautiful gold you know uh some of these elements are actually good for us you know we don't realize that there are um metals that are unhealthy and they're bad for us and then there are the precious metals that are actually very good for us and so we um but in a metaphorical sense that's what we want to do is not have like the harmful things inside of us but have the healthy things and we want to kind of purify those things out and that's part of discovering who our true self is. And it's actually really exciting. It, you know, it's a process, it takes time. We have to be all through this program as we go through the steps. <coughs> Excuse me. As we go through the steps, we are looking to be gentle with ourselves um, and not to be blaming others. This is all our responsibility to become uh, adult, like adults, you know, but by healing our adult child and by figuring out those dysfunctions, we are purifying that true self within us. So um, I hope that's helpful to you because if somebody says to you, well, who are you? Who are you? Um, well, you might want to say, like I say, you're on your first date or something. You might talk about those labels at first. We put that out there, you know, like people need to know maybe that we're mothers or retired or something. but. We really have a conversation with somebody, then we might kind of define who we are by what we will allow, what we reject, what we truly love and care about, what is an active thing, you know, and it takes time and it's always going to be dynamic and changing, okay? So thank you, and I will be getting back to the 12 steps uh, soon. But in the meantime, I want to have these little tidbits to put out there for you. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.